a thief was 400 meter ahead of policeman. The thief started running and policeman started chasing simultaneously. Assuming the speed of thief be 10 km per hour and policeman be 15 km per hour. Calculate the distance covered by thief before the policeman caught the thief. Here this is policeman and this is thief. Now there is distance between police and thief which is 400 meter that is 0.4 km. 1 km is equal to 1000 meter. Speed of police is equal to 15 km per hour and speed of thief is 10 km per hour. When the speed of police is greater than speed of thief, this police can catch this thief at certain time. Now when this thief started running, this police started chasing this thief. Now at certain time this police will catch this thief. Now time taken by this police to catch this thief is same as time taken by this police to cover this 400 meter distance with respect to the relative speed of police and thief. So time taken by police to cover 400 meter is same as time taken by this police to catch this thief which is equal to 0.4 divided by relative speed of police and thief that is distance by relative speed is equal to time taken by this police to catch the thief which is 0.4 divided by relative speed of police and thief is equal to both are running in the same direction. When both are running in the same direction relative speed is equal to difference between the speed of both the bodies. So which is equal to 15 minus 10. So this will become 0.4 by 5 hours. Now distance travelled by thief is equal to running time of thief into speed of thief. Here running time of thief is same as the time taken by this police to catch this thief which is 0.4 by 5 into speed of thief is 10 km per hour. 5 goes 2 times in 10. 0.4 into 2 is 0.8 km which is 800 meter. Option B is your answer.